Have you ever walked through the trees and saw something in the corner of your eye? Or heard a branch snap, drop or crunch, but never saw why? Amongst this place, magic is all around. But the trees see all and recall their tales of an elf named Sebastian and his friendship with the monster with the scales. On one cold winter's night at St Nick's, the elf needs to find a new home, one that is strong enough and preferably made of sticks. Sebastian set out to find the perfect home, for a place of wonder was what he needed, and it had to be somewhere hot. On his trails, he hid behind the trees, tiptoed through the bushes and sailed on the river. But no place was hot enough, and with this breeze, he began to shiver. Soon the moon began to rise. The poor little elf was out in the cold alone on his travels. He wasn't having fun. Sebastian hid behind the leaves and shuddered in the dark. Sadly for Sebastian, there was no light in sight, not even a spark. Then suddenly, when all seemed cold, a glimmer of light swooped down and Sebastian saw gold, a creature who was large, mighty and scary, its claws as sharp as a needle and as strong as a sword. Sebastian hid and began to tremble. The creature landed, stretched its neck, opened its mouth, and roared! A dragon? He feared if the dragon saw him, he would be gobbled up like a stick. Then the dragon's eyes darted straight at the shaking little elf, hidden behind the smallest of the leaves. Sebastian began to sweat at the sight of the dragon's razor-sharp teeth. A creature who was large, mighty and scary, its claws as sharp as a needle and as strong as a sword. The dragon started to move towards him with smoke spinning around its nostrils. If only the little elf had taken some sort of combat training, but Sebastian was always a lover, not a fighter. Suddenly, with a whoosh and a stomp, the dragon jumped and landed in front of the elf. With a squirm and a scream, the little elf shouted, Please don't eat me! I don't taste nice! Sebastian lowered the leaf and took a step forward to sit on a twig. He stared up and gulped at the sight of the dragon, who was so large, mighty and scary, its claws as sharp as a needle and as strong as a sword. The dragon listened and contemplated for a while. If you seek a home, I know the perfect spot, one that is full of wonder and is forever hot. The dragon arched its back and allowed for the small elf to climb aboard. Even though its scales were prickly and pointy, Sebastian felt safe and reassured. Suddenly, its wings flapped, swished and swung and the dragon flew. The wind blew through Sebastian's pointed ears and they flew higher over the bushes, the trees and the river too. Then with a crunch, the dragon landed and Sebastian hopped off. Magic was all around, and with this newfound friend, he had found a new house, a place so large and open for all creatures, whether they were as large as a giant or as short as a mouse. Sebastian's dragon friend, who was large, mighty, and not so scary, whose claws were as sharp as a needle and as strong as a sword, blew a poof of smoke out of its mouth and lit a fire that was scorching. The elf was forever thankful and invited all his elf kind to come and stay at this new, warm, wonderful home. And they all sang thanks to their kind dragon friend. If you ever see a flicker or a glimmer in the corner of your eye, that is Sebastian the elf, welcoming one and all to his new home. And even to this day, the elf and the dragonfly flew the St Nick's nature reserve, seeking new friends and helping many creatures to find new homes. The trees see all and watch the elf and the dragon blossom into great friends who are full of laughter. And as they both fly around the bushes, the trees and the river, they lived happily ever after. <laughs>